Today, I'm so happy to present you Marilyn Atkinson. I started uh, much like you because I personally uh, needed to work with my own trauma because with coaching, we work with what people can do. I love this tool as coaching. And uh, I like that you really can uh, coach yourself. What's the most loving response I want to have in this moment right now? And that way it gets good at uh, being able to stand outside of the emotions. Hello, my beautiful people. My name is Sia Owen. I'm based in Los Angeles right now. And I'm absolutely fascinated by life. But it wasn't always like this. Almost two years ago, I faced with huge depression. I felt that I'm not happy. I started to explore this world, interview amazing people, and try their practices. My life really changed. My purpose right now is spreading wisdom, love, blessing, and share with awesome experts. I love what I am doing. And and I like how I am doing it. Go! Hello everyone, it is my YouTube channel. My name is Sierra Lova. I am a blogger and I create content geared to people who are interested in personal transformation, personal development and mindfulness. Today I'm so happy to present you Marilyn Atkinson. Marilyn Atkinson is the founder and president of Ericsson Coaching International. She's a speaker, coach, master coach, trainer, writer, designer of coach training programs, the art and science of coaching. Atkinson was a student of Milton Erickson and it was his mentorship and guidance that inspired her to name the company after him. Ericsson Coaching Programs, accredited by the International Coach Federation, are in place in 36 countries worldwide. Yeah, where are you located? I noticed uh, your company is Russian. Yes, I'm originally from Russia, from Moscow, but right now I'm living in Los Angeles. Okay. I had uh, some depression uh, two years ago and I started to um, figure out a lot about myself, about my inner world, because um, I had um, not mine goals and I had a business, I had a chain of nail bars and um, I did it, but uh, one moment I understood and on honestly started to answer that it's not my passion I, I wanted to travel a lot i wanted to live in different countries mm -hmm. and not mine but because um, i didn't work with myself i didn't know what is it coaching uh how it works and um, i had not mine um dreams not mine goals and um, i was struggling a lot yeah well got it you are here to uh, reach an audience of people interested in uh, working with themselves. Yeah, yeah. Are yeah. they mostly in Russia? Are they mostly in the USA? Where is your audience? Uh, mostly it is in Russian, but um, I have recently launched my uh, English YouTube channel uh, because um, now I am in Los Angeles, I'm living in the States, and so mostly I speak in English. I have found very interesting experts like you uh, in the States, and it is very interesting because um, you started it do very long time, and uh, it was my uh, the first question to you that uh, you do it uh, for 40 years right now it is becoming uh, mainstream but uh, 40 years ago people didn't think about it and uh, could you tell about it how uh, you started to do it okay uh, I started uh, much like you because I personally uh, needed to work with my own trauma that's why okay. I became a psychologist in the first place Mm -hmm. Often people work with what they would uh, heal in themselves. So it's a very valuable way to proceed, to step by step, explore your own discovery system. Mm -hmm. And uh, I worked for many years uh, with many groups. I worked with Milton Erickson, with Fritz Perls, 
with uh, Alan Watts, with many different teachers. And I explored in many different systems. I very much explored trauma, as you mentioned. I started with Milton Erickson because I loved his five principles. He was able to touch almost any client. He said, people are okay. They have the resources they need. He showed again and again that this was true. Could you explain what differences between coaching and between um, psychologists? Uh, well, psychology, of course, takes four years of um, beginning and many more years to get a PhD, two years to get a master's degree and so on. Coaching, uh, we can, at Ericsson, assist people to work with and develop their coaching abilities over six months. Because with coaching, we work with what people can do. And we don't work with uh, the things they say they can't do. It's like past um, experience. Do you mean you don't, um, you don't take past experience? Past we don't work with problems, per se, where somebody says, oh, I've got this terrible problem. In coaching, we work with how the brain actually works. Because the brain works primarily with what we want and our intention and our aims and our dreams. And uh, so we assist people to, first of all, get their resources. Like Milton said, find they've got resources. Discover and forgive themselves that they did the best they could so far. And now they just need some assistance to get going and move further. So they're not broken. There's nothing wrong with them. They are okay. And they simply now, step by step by step, mm -hmm. build their future and build their capacity to be really present right now. And, um, you know, maybe right now, um, different spiritual uh, magic thinking is very Uh, becoming more popular and popular, then you can manifest, you can manifest things, you can meditate what you want. Um, what do you think about it? And um, is it not the same? Coaching is like, um, could you explain what do you think about it and how it works if compared to coaching? There's so many different systems. It's very difficult for me to talk about something and call them all magic thinking. Mm -hmm. Every time we have a hope, you might call that magic thinking. Mm -hmm. We look at the future and see ourselves accomplishing something and say, wow, I can see myself doing that. And that's very valuable because it gives us inspiration. It gives us some ideas how we might achieve. It's not magic thinking. It's actually learning. We're learning how, what are the steps to get there? What do I want? How might I achieve it? We're looking at uh, different kinds of strategies to make it happen. And mm -hmm. that's what coaching is all about. What are the strategies that you can build the skill sets, the learning sets, the self-discoveries where you say, hey, I really do have more resources than I thought I did. Why I asked Marilyn about uh, magic mindset? Because I think two years ago, I was stuck in this. I had a lot of sessions with channelers, healers, and they said to me that you're amazing, you're very powerful. And I started to think about myself very high, but uh, I think I stopped to do activities, to make something. I stopped to work on my business, I started to sell it, I started to think that I can see it and uh, manifest what I want and it's happened. It's not true, really. I want to share my experience, maybe um, that you don't um, repeat it, my mistakes. Right now, I realize that I had a lot of fears. Yes, I believe that I'm powerful. I believe that um, I can do um, great things, maybe uh, as you too. Everyone, I'm sure that everyone has um, his power, 
But what problem? And I think what Marilyn uh, does through coaching, she helps to find your fears from questions. It is true which help you to come closer to yourself and honestly understand and answer inconvenient questions. I started doing it maybe two years ago to ask myself uh, inconvenient questions and it was very painful, it was inconvenient, it was unexpected. Uh, sometimes it, it was really very difficult to realize this truth but I think only truth lead to the freedom. Do you help people through coaching treat their traumas or not? And do you believe that you can treat um, your trauma um, at the end or you will have it all your life? What do you think about it? Well, first I'll give you the bad news. Anything you've learned and you've turned into a connector in the brain. Mm -hmm. For example, you thought that idea a bunch and maybe you took on the idea, oh, I'm not good at this or that. Those thought systems still stay there all your life because once you build a connected link in the brain, you've built it. However, you can build better ones, stronger ones that allow you to say yes to yourself in brand new ways. So it's kind of like a Russian doll. Doesn't matter what's really been there before, you can build something bigger and stronger that contains that old system. Now, that system may be an old trauma, yes, but you build something better and stronger than that old trauma. Can it still come up? Well, it could, actually. Uh, so they don't disappear forever. If something unique happens that you haven't planned for, that takes you by surprise, yes, you might help hit that old fear, fight or flight. But now you know what to do about it. Okay, and uh, can I um, say like um, you give me, if you work um, in coaching, you give me new beliefs about myself and uh, my brain remember it and I start to repeat it in my mind. And no, no, no it's not like that exactly. It's not new beliefs. No, mm -hmm. you need to be completely open to discovery. We don't want to, you know, create more beliefs. I mean, that's either or either I believe this or I believe that. No, no. What you want is the ability to step back from all those beliefs and have choice right now. What's the most useful? What's the most relevant? What's the most heart connected and truthful? What's the most loving response I want to have in this moment right now? And do you have a coach right now or you're coaching yourself? Oh, yeah. I'm, yeah. I need to have a coach. And I do coach myself. Absolutely. Both. Uh, is it works uh, when you coach yourself? Yes. But you need to learn how. There's a lot to coaching yourself. So first you need to understand how coaching works. And then you need to work with a journal. You need to know how to ask yourself questions that open up your inner knowledge. You need to be able to listen to yourself effectively, which many people don't know how to do. Yes, but I think uh, people uh, learn to uh, cheat yourself. Yeah, and uh, it can be dangerous coach yourself. You said it right. You need to know how to listen to yourself so that you gradually learn how to, first of all, stay in something we call coach position, which is overview. Okay, uh, I'm in an argument. Suppose I'm listening to myself and I'm noticing there's two parts of myself. One's arguing for something and another's arguing for something else. You've probably noticed that kind of internal dialogue, have you not? Yeah. So I can notice that without believing either of those two little parts, if you want to call it, parts of myself. 
And I can begin to notice how to listen like a coach. Notice to listen what's really important to me, how to ask deeper questions, and how to use my journal to think with. Okay, could you share, please, uh, to us uh, maybe three or five um, tools uh, how I can improve listening to myself? First of all, you need to start and practice. Listening to yourself uh, is not easy at the beginning. You need a time when you do it regularly. First thing in the morning when you wake up and you just lie in bed for a few minutes and uh, maybe you think about your dreams or what's happened and you notice your commentary your thoughts about all that. And those are what you listen to, those, but you don't believe them. That's your internal dialogue. I listen with respect to those parts of my spell. But you're listening from what we call coach position. You're not mm-hmm. believing those parts. You're not falling into them. Instead, we listen and notice, oh, there's a part of myself that's offended. But we don't believe that part. We thank it for telling us. And in that way, we get stronger and stronger as a professional. I love this tool as coaching. And uh, I like that you really can uh, coach yourself. I have tried. I cannot do it, but I know people who can do it. I prefer more. Uh, Go to the experts, therapists, coach, and... For one hour, hard work that he asked me and convenient questions. Why I prefer it more? Because uh, when I speak with myself, it is very easy to lie yourself. It's like, oh yeah, if I gave up coffee, uh, maybe today I drink one cup of coffee. Oh, it doesn't matter. Tomorrow I start it again. No, it doesn't work. You need a coach, you need a trainer who will control you because your mind, it's like uh, double standards. Today I can or not tomorrow. No, it's like a child in yourself. You need someone who uh, can help you to find a truth in yourself. I think like this. What about some different techniques like meditation, something like this? Do you use it? Or do oh, you absolutely. It? Mindfulness is what we use. Now, mindfulness is another way to listen to yourself. You create a space inside and you just relax. Let your head relax and your jaw relax and your throat relax. Shoulders relax. And you just be present and notice something maybe like your breathing going in and out. Mm -hmm. And you notice, oh, there's a thought. And you let it go by and go back to your breathing. And another one bubbles up. Oh, there's another thought. But you get good at staying out of the thoughts. You don't grab onto them like they're true. And that allows you to really grow up become mature, become able to manage your own mind. Because otherwise, emotions manage us. What is an emotion? In English, the word emotion means away from motion. I think it's like, uh, for me, it's language um, that speak with my body. Well, in a way, you're right. Lim- the limbic system in the brain, our emotional center, is the old mammal part of the brain, which uh, has been around for 50 million years. So it doesn't have language. And it's all about either fight, run away, flee, or freeze. That's not very useful to us human beings. It's useful if you're in, if, if you step in front of a bus <laughs> and the bus <laughs> is gonna hit you, You want to dive away again because the emotional system is very fast. What we need, rather, is the ability to overview our emotions. That's what we're talking about here. And that takes a little practice because the whole cerebral cortex is much newer than the old emotional system. 
So it needs to practice. And that way it gets good at uh, being able to stand outside of the emotions and not get pulled into anger or conflict or beliefs that somebody's bad, all those kinds of things. Absolutely agree. Okay, if um, I understand, if uh, I'm on the start of this way and how long time I need for um, for become a self-coach for myself? Uh, usually it takes about two years, I'll be honest. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In, in six months, you can make some real headway. If you come into Ericsson Coaching International and take a coaching program and you're practicing with other participants and practicing with yourself, six months, you can do a lot uh, with yourself as well as other people. Two years, you can become a real leader, a leader in the world who's professional, who's able to be known for their wisdom. If you really focus and practice, you will get there. Uh, are you teaching right now online or you have um, some branches in, in offline in different countries? Uh, some of them are uh, on site. Some of them are online. But people from all those regions join online in English usually. And it's really incredible that you graduated almost 50,000 uh, coaches. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, 2,000 a year. It's really awesome. And uh, what plans do you have? What do you want to, to do more as students or something like this? Uh, we're growing the uh, Ericsson all the time. We do have a course on trauma. Uh, we have courses, introductory courses that are absolutely free. Uh, lots of ways to find out about coaching, plus books. I've written books in Russian. They're available, six of them. New one just coming out. And I invite you to explore. Yeah, I think I do it. So I appreciate the meeting, Anastasia. Yeah, okay. I appreciate too for this interview. Thank you so much. And uh, you are an incredible person and uh, really what are you doing it's uh, it's amazing because uh, you treat people and it's really amazing because um, our you. world is becoming better and better from people like you thank you yeah. bye bye for now bye bye <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you in next one. I'm sure it was very useful for you. If it's true, let me know below. It's very important for me. Bye-bye!